Members of Congress getting one step closer now to successfully banning the social media app. Lawmakers cite growing concerns that TikTok's Chinese parent company poses a major threat to our national security. House lawmakers set to vote on the bill tomorrow, and that would require the parent company to sell its U.S. operations to an American company or be banned from the U.S. for good. The bill is expected to pass the House with overwhelming bipartisan support. TikTok, of course, blasting the effort, saying that a ban would trample the First Amendment rights of 170 million Americans. Our senior congressional correspondent, Rachel Scott, has been following all of this and joins us now. So, Rachel, let's first just lay out the threats here that lawmakers are most concerned about as, as so many Americans use TikTok on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. Yeah, this is a widely popular app. More than 140 million Americans in this country use TikTok. So lawmakers here in the House just got a classified briefing. They just left moments ago, and we talked to them as they were leaving about some of the concerns that they have. Obviously, the overarching one here is TikTok's parent company, ByteDance. And the main concern here is twofold. Number one is the algorithm, whether or not China could influence what Americans are seeing as they scroll through TikTok and scroll past all of those videos. Uh, the second one is whether or not China will then have access to data from Americans using that app. That's a big concern. Now, TikTok obviously pushes back. They say there's no evidence to support any of that. They say that they have made a lot of modifications to try and make the U.S. more comfortable with its parent Chinese parent company, ByteDance. But lawmakers say at this point they are moving forward with this. And as you said, this bill, Republican leadership expects it to pass the House tomorrow. All right, and let's just talk about users. What are they telling you? Yeah, so we have had a chance to talk to some TikTok content creators because TikTok is really flooding the zone here. They are trying to put some pressure on lawmakers. So not only are users calling the offices, if you go on TikTok, you might see one of those prompts to find your representative and call them and let them know that you want to keep TikTok available in the United States. But TikTok also brought content creators here to Washington, D.C., trying to lobby and, and talk to these lawmakers personally. So take a listen to what some of the content creators that we spoke to told us. There's a push now here on Capitol Hill to effectively ban the platform here in the U.S., to divest it. What do you think lawmakers get wrong about TikTok? I think that they don't understand it. You know, for me, as a content creator and a watcher, I know what TikTok does. I know what it's, what it's for, how it helps people. Honestly, that will destroy us. Yeah, a, a ban on, on TikTok would, would be devastating. It would, we, our 90% of our sales are on TikTok shop. And we would basically, I mean, we would lose all of our customers. Yeah, so there you have it. I mean, these are some of them small business owners who say so much of their sales, 90%, as you just heard, come from TikTok. So they're clearly concerned about that as well. And TikTok really trying to put some of those voices and those faces out to the public ahead of this critical vote, Kira. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.